Hi folks, today we're looking at the Ulephone Metal, which is a, a, a nice little phone coming out of the Shenzhen area, but it's a, it's a, kind of a, a, an indication of the quality of phones coming out now from the lesser known uh, brands and lesser known manufacturers out of China. This is uh, definitely a, uh, a second tier uh, brand, but certainly not second tier in, in actual quality, product quality. So inside the box, we have here the little SIM remover, the plug and the USB cable for charging. And underneath here, it comes with a nice little serviceable case. Nothing special, but certainly good enough to protect your uh, your screen should you drop it and, uh, and unfortunately drop it on something hard. And a user manual, quite simple again, not very complicated, but you don't need much, do you, nowadays. And a screen protector, very tough, hard, scratch-resistant screen protector to put on top. So onto the phone itself. Well, there are some handsets you pick up and you immediately get a feel for the quality, the build quality and, and uh, overall usability of the phone. And this little little handset, Android handset, is, is a very nice feel to it. It has a very nice um, first impression. It's a five inch screen, 1920 by 1080, Snapdragon uh, processor, 615, 1.5 octa core. So it's not sluggish, It's it's got some punch, punch behind it. Two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of ROM for storage. So it hasn't got a huge amount, but there again, you can expand it up to 32 gigabytes with a micro SD card which is awesomely wonderful. <laughs> dual SIM, dual standby, 13 megapixel rear camera here from a Sony chipset, uh, eight megapixel front, they say, I'm not sure whether that's interpolated or whether that's a, a genuine uh, eight megapixels up front. Um, and a, a rather nicely sized 3050, 3050 milliamp hour battery, which should give you oodles of, of runtime uh, without having to rush to the charger. This little point here you can see is the fingerprint um, security. So you, you get that as well. So you can basically say it's a really fully featured phone. Number of things we like about it off the get-go. Um, we like this, this, this embedded, if you like, uh, navigation bar here. So you can see this no matter what. It's not reliant on, on the screen to brighten it or, to, uh, or, or a little backlight. That means you can see it in difficult situations, which is actually surprisingly important. Nice little buttons here. So you've got the power and the volume up and down. Again, very tactile because they're separate and discreet and you should be able to find them quickly when you need to. USB charge point on the bottom there and uh, there's the sim caddy at the top oh and look a headphone jack aren't they wonderful <laughs> in use we found that the fingerprint security is very responsive and actually seems to work quite reliably you may get a couple more attempts at it than you would say with the the nexus 6p but it's a pretty close facsimile, so that's not, not bad at all. The actual phone itself is extremely responsive. In operation, it's very nice. It's, it, the screen is beautifully crisp and clear, um, very legible, very responsive. As you can see here, the RAM and the processor, the sna uh, Snapdragon processor, really make short work of handling the map tiling. Um, with no worries whatsoever. Okay, we're on a fast high uh, Wi-Fi connection, but even so, this is very uh, impressive indeed, and the ability to, to scan around like this on a budget phone. One of the trends we're not happy with, with this sort of handset, is this, this idea that uh, you can have either dual SIM, dual standby, or one SIM and a micro SD card. It's uh, it's more and more common um, in major brands as well as as these uh, these other smaller brands. But even so, it's a bit of a compromise we're not happy with. The idea is you should be able to carry data around on large large amounts of data around with you on a micro SD card, as well as dual SIM because dual SIM is the the two of those features are very very powerful together. As far as gaming goes, here we are with Asphalt 8, good old Asphalt 8, and my usually atrocious driving i still haven't got better after all this time i'm pretty pathetic but um as you can see the graphics are definitely adequate um the octa-core doing its its job properly one is one of the same let's just try and get this 
into a different camera. There you go. Get a nice bit of lens flare. Look at that. You know, the one, the one, um, if you might say, sort of compromise from for a cheap handset is the the sound is is adequate, but you only got really this single uh, speaker coming out the back here, so not really up to the level of of the uh, the super phones in that respect. So it's a uh, whoa, I am really really bad. But as for the graphics themselves, definitely good enough um, to please most people and as I said before not running hot you know, it's running warm definitely you can feel it obviously because the octocore is pumping these 3ds around but it's uh, it's good it's okay the nice uh, quality Sony 30 megapixel camera does some pretty nice shots if you can see a little bit uh, over egging the uh, the sharpness but look at that that's not bad is it uh, I'll put up some some other uh, shots on a gallery so you can have a closer look but there it's pretty nicely pretty nicely detailed not a lot of noise um quite nice quite nice so there you have it the eulophone metal so named because of the nice metal metal uh, frame in which the the phone is based it's a very nice phone i'm i i do like this five inch form factor i mean it is a dis distinct contrast to the mega phones you get now and let's look at this nexus 6p sort of thing the size difference between these two phones it, it's it's a much more handleable phone you know you can you can make phone calls much easier by with one hand and texting and things like that so it's a very nice form factor it still has relevance today even with these big mega screen um, phones and the performance on this and the overall uh, usability very good the, the Qualcomm processor and the Sony uh, camera module add you know a quite a value to to what is really a, a budget handset the Eulophone Metal, yeah, I would uh, definitely put it on your list if you're looking for a uh, replacement phone anytime soon. As usual, if you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.